friends how y'all doing what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is or isn't your first time how you guys doing i hope you guys are doing well i hope this year has been treating you really amazing personally i've just been you know trying to be a baby girl trying to take one day at a time you know what i'm saying no pressure whatever This video was supposed to be a mukbang video where I sit down with food the way YouTubers do and talk about stuff whilst I eat but my hunger right now doesn't permit that by the way guys if you hear the dogs barking just ignore it okay I don't know why the dogs behind just won't stop barking I don't know what's going on I hope it's not anything bad but yeah I'm sitting by my window and my windows are open because I needed I wanted to use the natural light because I think I like you know What's going on behind me? It just seems really cute. Anyways, guys, let's just how's everything been? Um, well, personally, I feel like this year is just flying. The year did not come to wait for anybody. It did not come to sit and wait for you to get your shit together or for you to make up your mind to take the bull by the horn or for you to cut off some bad energies that you've been carrying all along for so long or for you to put down the excess baggage that you've been carrying. This year just came to go. I just wanted to talk about certain things that... You know i feel we should leave behind as we progress into the year because like i said this year did not come to wait for anybody this year is just going by just swiftly leaving us you know and before you know it it's going to be december and then you're going to ask yourself oh my god but you know nothing really changed this year mm -mm, don't be that person the very first thing i'm going to talk about is self-doubt because self-doubt is very common it is very very common anybody can you know have self-doubt really and i feel like it's one of man's biggest enemies because when you doubt yourself you're not even giving yourself the chance to at least try you know like that's you already writing yourself off like oh more no self-doubt is you cancelling yourself so if you have self-doubt i want you this minute this very second make the conscious decision to let that doubt go and just go and do and be whatever it is you want to do and be don't let yourself stop yourself next thing i'm going to talk about is fair weather friends yes come here and let's have this conversation because many a times i've been in places where people you know have conversation about friends that don't go hard for you are you supposed to you know cut them off and stuff and people will be like oh no but your friends don't owe you anything um why would you want to cut off your friends simply because they don't support you and i'm here to ask you that thinks that way no tell me yeah oh well, there's a saying that no man is an island right everybody needs somebody everybody needs friends we need friends we need family we need oh well, we need support there's nobody that can do without support in this life it's not possible so if you have friends that are supposed to be your friends they don't support your business you start up something they don't even talk about it they don't yap about it to the next person maybe you posted it on your whatsapp status oh i've started selling shoes and bags or oh, they just stop mm. like every other you know person that isn't your friend quotes and unquote they just tap and pass to how are you my friend no please they will pass you like that they will pass you like that in jesus name <laughs> because no like how is that person your friend no i really want to understand when people say oh no you don't um don't 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 why do you want to put such pressure on your friends like why do they have to why do you think why are you feeling entitled it's it's, it, mm, it's that's not entitlement go and check up the meaning of a friend a friend is supposed to be a friend and the one that really bites me is people that would never support their friends but they will support celebrities. I don't understand. Like, why? No, the, I feel like that's just being mean. A celebrity that doesn't even know you. If you do that, you're just a mean person. You're writing so hard for the person. But your friend is trying to start a little business. Where she feeds, you know, see money from, takes see fronts. And you don't support her. You don't even know if her biggest client is going to be on your damn list on your damn tail or page or whatever a friend in need is a friend indeed and no you're not feeling entitled we're all we have we have each other and i mean we have to ride for each other so stop all this no you, you, you're feeling too entitled and you too 
when they support you in their own little way be thankful and be grateful and keep it pushing okay the next thing i want to talk about is draining habits a draining habit is something you do that pushes you back so say you're supposed to be over there but because you've been doing something you know and it keeps just you know taking you back taking you back taking you back that's a draining habit whatever it is that you think you're doing you might be enjoying it it might be fun but bam it is draining you okay so let that shit go my draining habit is procrastinating ay 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not even go there because what? I am the chief procrastinator. The other day I was trying to arrange my things and but I, sometimes I just bring out all the clothes from my wardrobe and refold, rearrange. Do you know I left my clothes on the floor for like a week? Yeah, I left my my clothes on the floor for like a week. I always look at them and say, okay, I'm gonna do this now. And because of that. I wouldn't do other things because you no, know, I'm I'm preparing like I'm preparing myself to do this. This is what I want to do, and I just kept pushing everything and pushing everything. The day I finally got up and decided to arrange my clothes, I didn't spend up to twenty minutes doing it. Then I looked at myself in the mirror and I'm like, "What the hell is wrong with you?" So if you notice anything that derails you, or anything that puts you back. Or more, stop it. Let it go. 2021 did not come to sleep, so let it go now. Next thing I want to talk about is mindset, negative thinking. Like it's so easy to think negatively, eh? Like it's easier to think negative stuff than positive stuff. Except you've just, you know, positively wired your brain. For me, eh, I feel like that's a very big achievement that any human being can get in this life. It's different from okay, you know worst case scenario where you tell yourself well if things go bad it's not like you don't have plan b if it doesn't go you know in a positive way however you're not dwelling on it's not going in a positive way so you see that's the difference you are aware that you know she could go left or right but you're not dwelling that it's going to go left okay you are thinking okay yeah it could go left it could go right but almost I'm trying to focus all my energy to making sure it goes right. That's the difference. That's when you really achieve something, really. Lately, I have been testing myself a lot. This year has really been quite eventful for me, really. It's really been eventful. Like, in such a short period of time, I have learned a lot. And a lot has happened in my life. You know, some things I might never talk about on camera. But, yeah, and I just, I've just been learning, basically. You know, small me. Like before, yeah? I could let the tiniest bit of issue bother me. Oh my... See? <laughs> it will bother me like this. But you're... Ah! Oh, bad day loading. Hey, <laughs> good. But now, yeah? I'm trying not to sweat anything anymore. Like, I'm trying not to sweat the little things. Omo, it's cool. Whatever. Omo, it's cool. We keep it pushing. We keep it moving. Hopefully, it's gonna get better, and it does really like something could be going really bad, but your positive mindset and your positive thinking could actually alter it, and things can just start going well. I don't know if it makes sense to you, I don't know if you've experienced something like that before, but like, okay, say for instance, the other day, um, I had work to go to, so I told my cab guy to come get me in the morning. This guy did not call me, I was running late, I was running late and it's they were paying me per hour so oh i'm not trying to shorten my my money or that stuff so i needed to be there on time normal me before me ah as he's running late oh my god i was laughing he's stressed oh my god i'm going to get there late oh my god what kind of first impression is this like i would just stress myself out and before you know it i wouldn't even think straight anymore and i would end up actually being late once i say that i would it will happen or more negative thinking and when you think negatively and then you speak it oh my god that you've even put your you've shot yourself everywhere once you start speaking it as well like or more and it's very hard to not speak it once you start thinking it that's the thing you need to know so anyways instead of beating myself up and getting stressed and worked up over nothing i just calmed down tried to get another cab and i got there on time i don't know how it happened i don't know but 
I just I got there on time and I didn't beat myself up. I didn't <laughs> Omo, just in case you guys hear a kid yelling there's a kid outside playing and I really don't have the energy to go and <laughs> And say oh stop yelling <laughs> no 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 i ain't gonna do that the next thing i'm going to be talking about is worry worry never helped anybody i'm gonna see right now i'm at a point in my life right now where i don't want to say i don't give up but listen i really do not i actually do not you know like i'm all every day as it comes i'm taking on it that's all i'm not trying to stress myself and kill myself because of something that i don't have or something that i don't have yet rather i mean someday i'm going to have it like especially at this age like 25 to 33 or 35 year olds or more hey the pressure we mount on ourselves is ha now wow I had a conversation with my friend just you know around the same time when i was on my worry mood it turned out she was also dealing with the same thing so um, we're all in this together if you're about 24 25 to 33 34 you know what i'm talking about like the struggle is real it is really like ah uh. and the even saddest part of this whole matter bc we're all dealing with the same thing like what Omo, you think every you think maybe somebody else has it better? Hey, think again. No, think again because Omo, no matter where you are at in life, there's somebody that's praying to be like you. There's somebody that wants to be where you are. So you just have to be grateful for where you are and keep it pushing. The other day I was um I was going somewhere and I saw this young lady. She should be about my age, really, but she already has kids. She was sitting inside the gutter with her kids. And she was smiling she was actually smiling like she was smiling and playing with her babies inside the gutter obviously they're homeless and i was like remind me again why i have been stressing my like i have a roof not just any roof i actually have a cute apartment somewhere i can sleep every night somewhere that or well, like i paid for it for you know for the next one year so it's mine for the next one year until i have to pay again or move out or who knows buy my own by god's grace amen you know so like i feel like we should just chill and not really mount too much pressure on ourselves because everything will pure very soon last last everything will pure everywhere goes to everything will everything will mara my everywhere nice because hello <laughs> like oh mom i'm not worrying myself anymore at all and then when it comes to chapter of ah all those people like to ask you questions like ah when will you marry stop it me i don't even send all those people again like i don't see Omo, i don't see i don't even see them once they want to bring up that kind of conversation i'm more peace to see i'm i mean i'm out bye i feel like i'm going to talk about my thoughts or my current thoughts on relationship and marriage and love and everything in another video not in this video because i feel like I have so much I want to say about it because everybody's just moving mad and I'm not trying to move mad okay I'm trying to be sane in this life so I'm not going to allow anybody to make me go mad period the last but not the least thing I'm going to talk about is shallow love I feel like a lot of people especially young girls tend to accept just any kind of thing they perceive as love from men or you know men from women because i'm not trying to be biased here because oh because you're a woman well you only speak for women no whatever situation whatever gender you are wherever you are at if you're getting shallow love or you're getting conditional love or patch patch love that's how i say it, really just get up and get out because you are better than that so my friend came to see me and well, she was supposed to um, meet up with this guy she met on Instagram. The day he was supposed to come to town, he couldn't make it. He missed his flight. One thing, one thing, one thing. So he was supposed to come the next day with the first flight. So they're like, all right, cool, or whatever. That night, the night before the day he was supposed to come, somebody messaged her. It turned out the guy was getting married 
the day he missed his flight he actually was getting married that day <laughs> my god <sighs> he actually was getting married that day court wedding so he planned that after his court wedding he would travel to go and see a babe in another part of the country ah, the first thing that came to my mind was why is she still in that affair why is she like i'm just like a, a thing till now like i'm still trying to wrap my head around it anyways so my friend got a message from this number saying that she's his wife and they were going having their court wedding that day the day he was supposed to come and um she's pregnant she's nine weeks pregnant and he says that he's going to send her to canada where she could go have the baby and whatnot and whatnot and i'm like oh my god people are moving that is that is the most sh <sighs> like talking about it alone makes me weak because that anybody has to deal with that let alone go through that keep going through that because she's she's going to keep going through it because <laughs> she's carrying his baby he obviously wants the baby that's why you know he's probably getting married to her in the first place but he doesn't love her he doesn't even like her because almost i've seen i've i've seen and i've heard about men cheating and how evil and mean men could be but you see this particular story this one off me this one see you're off they don't off lights everywhere because what in the f going on like I don't know i don't even know what to say anymore because the sad thing is this guy is going to ship this girl off to canada just continue living his life she was really polite to texting my friend saying oh they were you know having their court wedding she's pregnant he says it's going to ship out that actually he's been at it for you know the longest time throughout their relationship or whatever she just thought he was going to change maybe you know in the beginning he was they had been together for what four years in the beginning maybe she, you know she said she thought that he was just really young then and this girl is like 23 years old i don't i i, I don't know like when did you okay so that means they started dating 22 21 20 19. they started dating she was 19 years old and she's been dealing with that kind of you know the sad thing about this kind of abusive relationships is that it, once you're staying it right you feel like it's the norm you begin to see it as the norm it is not the norm okay there's people out here that are getting maximum premium unadulterated love read my lips maximum premium unadulterated love so why in god's name is anybody somewhere getting the barest minimum like it's so sad thinking about it because anyways and then she told my friend that he's been at it for the longest time and that he was actually coming to abuja not just to see her but he was also going to leave abuja and travel out of the country with another babe hey god off me just off me because <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know how people out there do it i don't know how y'all do it i just like the way i'm wired you know i'm not talking down on anybody's situation but i just thank god for the way i was brought up and the way i am wired it's like i have so much love to give i know myself i have so much love to give so i can't accept barest minimum from anybody because i know i'm going to give you 100 if we're together i'm going to give you bloody 100 so if you're not giving me that back oh my goodbye you don't you don't deserve it that's what it means i mean i cannot be giving you full glass of juice and then you're giving me half cup you sip 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 and you're giving me small small what's that so i'm not what full glass ni. i mean what's that it was just also annoying and then my friend my friend of course didn't know that this person is a married man you know so she's also pissed and the guy actually saw the message his wife sent and they even had a fight the fact that he would think about shipping her off to canada in her condition and not even going with her so he could be here be going around to other african countries gallivanting around with, with women it just goes to show how much evil there is in this world and how much people are just so mean now 
like love with <laughs> more <laughs> i'm beginning to feel like love is just a myth in this generation because what the actual hell i don't even know this story just has a way of cramping my mood really but yeah what i'm trying to say is Omo, you are worth more than that shallow love that is being offered to you on a platter as if they're doing you a favor. Love yourself, okay? Love yourself. Love, like, Omo, I've attained a point in my life where I'm fine. With or without you, I'm Gucci. Like, I am... Hello? Uh -huh. I, I, I just stay, like... Every time I tell myself I haven't been single for this long to go and accept some mediocre shit, like, hell no. Hell to the goddamn no. I can't do that at all. So anyways, guys, um, I really wanted this video to be very short and straight to the point because it was just supposed to be normal gist. Nothing too major, just chit chats let me see if i've exhausted all my points that i wrote down self-doubt friends that don't go hard for us draining habits mindset negative thinking worry let worry go live every day to the best you can live every day the best you can just let worry go man and you see shallow love do accept it because you'll want more and the thing is my friend actually advised the girl you know are you sure you want to go through with the wedding like are you sure you want to be with still be with this person she's like well she's pregnant she's her mother's only child um she doesn't have a father anymore more well, people's conditions are really bad like I, I mean i don't know i don't want to say i can understand why she's hanging on but <sighs> but like this girl's situation really broke my heart when i heard it it really i just wanted to go meet her wherever she was give her a very big hug and tell her to run for her life because she's really young she's just 23 like she just wants to sign her life away to some maniac who didn't even care when okay he actually saw the text messages that she sent to my friend and he didn't even care when he was talking to my friend like he was just being nonchalant about it oh so so she she so my wife so my wife messaged you eh. <laughs> okay oh. so people are ganging up against me what Omo, um, see, these streets are wild. Things are really wild here. But anyways, if you've been opportune and blessed to see this video, I'm telling you today, now if you're in that kind of situation, it's not worth it. Go away. Run away. Go. Yes, go. 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 And don't even allow yourself to be getting pregnant before marriage in the first place. Like, use a condom. The contraceptives. Like, use a condom. Use a condom. Not just because of pregnancy, but because of STDs and viral diseases and what have you. Use a condom. So you're not going to get pregnant and then have to sign your life away to one idiot like this guy because he's a complete idiot. I mean, he's, I mean, <laughs> there's no two ways about it. I just wish the best for her. I just pray that, you know, God is going to change her life and just do something. Anyways, those kind of people always have children that would become billionaires tomorrow and wipe the tears off their face if she carries the pregnancy to term and she has the baby i just pray the baby is going to bring joy into her life because um, i don't know what else to say i don't know what else to do i can't do anything i can't possibly you know do anything about it but yeah in essence what i'm trying to say is you deserve better okay look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself every day you deserve better than some mediocre thing or shallow love that's been offered to you and making it seem like you're at a buffet. The hell? You know, I want to start leaving and thinking this way every day. Whatever anyone thinks they're trying to offer me or they're trying to do me a favor by offering me, there's always better out there. So, Omo, not to feel yourself, you understand? So, yeah. <laughs> What's popping? So, yeah. Anyways, um... That's the end of the video guys i hope you guys you know took a thing or two from this video um i'll see you guys in my next video do take care and um stay cool stay blessed and remember you are the shit okay ain't nobody gonna kill your vibe if you don't give them the chance to so you go and have yourself a wonderful week ahead okay okay please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video if you care leave a comment down below and let's just have a conversation, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned and be good. Bye.